Hello everyone, let's start with the next topic which is design problem on illumination. So before moving on to the problem, let's see some terms related to illumination. So first is illumination. It is the luminous flux received by a surface per unit area and its unit is lux. Next is utilization factor. It is the ratio of lumen reaching the working plane that is the light reaching the working plane and the given output of the lamp. Also it is called as coefficient of utilization. Next is maintenance factor. Maintenance factor is a value to account for the reduction in the light output. It may be due to aging. It may be due to accumulation of dust. And the last is space to height ratio. It is the ratio of horizontal distance between the adjacent lamps and the height above the working plane. Now let's start with the problem. A classroom measuring 20 meter length, 15 meter width and 5 meter height is to be illuminated. First is state the design consideration for lighting. Next is calculate the number of lamps required. And the last one is draw the layout for the classroom. So let's see one by one. First is design consideration. So here we need to assume. So first is average illumination. The recommended light level for different workspace is available. So here the workspace is classroom. So average illumination for classroom is 400 lux. Next is maintenance factor is 0.8. Height of working plane is 1 meter. Assuming illumination is free from glares. Assuming illumination is free from shadow and space to height ratio should be less than or equal to 1.5. Next is selecting the lamp. Now we have to select the lamp. So here you can see the lamp data is available. So selecting a fluorescent tube light of 36 wattage with 3 to 5 0 lumen output. So here from the table we are selecting fluorescent tube light of 36 wattage and lumen output is 3250. Now next is calculating the number of lamps. So before that we have to find out the mounting height which is given by HM. So mounting height is the height, total height, total height is 5 meter and as you can see in this diagram, so it is minus 1 that is working plane height and 1.5 which is the mounting height of the lamp. So it is 2.5 meter, the mounting height is 2.5 meter. Assuming space to height ratio is 1.25. So from this ratio, the space to height ratio is 1.25. So you will get the spacing. So spacing is 3.125 meter. Next is room index. The room geometry is a crucial factor in determining the utilization factor. And in the Lumen method of design, the room geometry is characterized by the room index. So room index is given by K. Here you can see the formula for room index is K equals to length into width divided by mounting height into length plus width. So if we substitute all the values, we will get the room index K as 3.43 which is approximately 4. Now we are assuming that the ceiling, re ceiling reflection RC is 0.7. Wall reflection RW is 0.5 and so from the table as you can see here this is the coefficient of utilization chart. We have assumed RC as 0.7, RW as 0.5 and our K value is 4. So from coefficient of utilization chart our uh, utilization factor is 0.67. So here the utilization factor is 0 0.67 from the chart. Next is calculating the total number of lamps. So the formula is N equals to capital N equals to E into A upon small n into F into MF into UF. So your capital N is the number of lamps. Next is E is the average illumination for the classroom which is 400 lux. A is the area, so it is length into width, that is 20 into 15, divided by N, that is number of lamps. 
lamps per fixture so we are considering that in a fixture there are two tube lights then f is the lamp lumen output so here we are considering a fluorescent tube light of uh, lumen output as 3250 mf is the maintenance factor and uf is the utilization factor so if we substitute all the values we get the total number of lamps as 34.44 so rounding it up we need the 35 lamps so this 35 lamps are to be uniformly distributed in the classroom so let's see the layout so for layout uh, we need to find out number of rows and in each row how many lamps will be there so minimum number of rows is width upon spacing so width is 15 divided by 3.125 so it is 4.8 that is we require 5 rows now the minimum number of lamps required in each row so l divided by s that is length divided by the spacing so it is 20 divided by 3.125 which is 6.4 that is 7 lamps now spacing between the lamps along the length how many spacing will be there between the lamp along the length so it is 20 divided by 7 which is 2.86 meter and spacing between the lamps along the width that is 15 divided by 5 which is 3 meters so this is the layout so here is the length of 20 meter and along the 20 meter length we have total 7 lamps here is the width which is 15 meter and along the width we have total 5 lamps so 5 rows and in each row 7 lamps now next we have found, found out the spacing between the lamps so along the length is 2.86 meter so this is the spacing along the length 2.86 meter but we have to find out the end spacing from the uh, wall end so it will be this spacing as well as this spacing from the wall end so it will be 2.86 divided by 2 so it is 1.43 meter so it will be the spacing along the wall end next is the spacing between the lamp along the width so it is 3 meters and similarly as we have done for the length here it will be uh, along the wall side again we have to consider 3 meter divided by 2 so it is 1.5 over here and 1.5 over here so this is the complete layout so our lamps number of lamps are being uniformly distributed in the classroom so that's all for this video and thank you.